Hello guys, I'm Meister here and I'm back on a new Ultimate Team adventure. So a couple of things quickly before we get going. Um, uh, one, I was speaking really quickly just then. Two, um, my club's video got some uh, good feedback, but um, obviously, hopefully you guys, some of you guys will watch it if you missed it. Give me some feedback. Uh, I got okay feedback on that, but um, hopefully, you know, I don't know if I, I might do one more, maybe a montage of our best goals because I don't know some people don't like it. And uh, three, um, on you vs me the streak, if you want to go, that that was my last Ultimate Team series, I didn't, which I kind of didn't finish, but if you do want, uh, the reason I'm not finishing it firstly is because um, I want to get all my subscribers involved, um, but yeah, secondly, if you want to watch it, then I'll put the link in the description below, but uh, yeah, so this is called Should He Stay or Should He Go, as you can see from the title, um, unless you're blind, but yeah, so no offense to the blind people. Or like anyone can watch my videos you know i'm not not discriminating or hating on anyone but um yeah the idea is that you guys all are involved in this you guys build the team basically all i do is search for the players and then play with them but you build the team so i'll buy players as you'll see i buy one this episode and um you'll and then you'll comment below whether you think he deserves a place in the team or not and it's pretty much as simple as that and hopefully by the end of this we should build a decent team because um which hopefully can win a tournament um and my, my sort of inspiration behind this was that a lot of my friends are playing Ultimate Team at the moment and they're saying, oh, you know, I'm trying to build, because they're new to FIFA and Ultimate Team as well. And they're, and they're saying, they're saying, look, initial, I can't build a good team because of the fact that, well, you know, these the best players, the players they really want are really expensive. And a lot of them build BPL teams. So even though it's quite late into Ultimate Team, I still think that hopefully... By doing this, I can help them build, like, find these unknown and obscure players and see if tell them if it's if you guys as a community think they're good or not, if they're or based off the video if you think they deserve a place or not. So yeah, that's hopefully how it will go down. We'll see how the feedback is after the first episode, but I do think you guys should, will enjoy it. But um, anyway, back to the games. So you saw Jay Grant uh, score a header, and he scored that first goal as well, which are both pretty tidy. One on the left foot, one on the noggin or the head, as it's known. And then Edwy scored a long shot. And this guy, I don't understand why you'd quit in the 86th minute. Why? Like, what reason? Even if it was your tea that was waiting, it was waiting in the kit, like just for you to drink it. Surely, like 30 seconds is not gonna do anything. I mean, really, 30 seconds? I don't know, I don't know, but anyway, so he quit, I got the win, so I, oh, I'm pretty sure I got the win anyway, so one win, good start, um, and this guy, you know, he had he had quite high, like, loads of green links, considering that he, the, his team, like, I think he just got it from a starter pack, but, um, <coughs> pardon me, but yeah, his defending was, wasn't as up to the chemistry of his team in comparison to mine, and, you know, that step overs, I'm so used to doing that, like, step overs around the oncoming keeper, um, and that gave me the 1-0 lead, and I also, I also recommend, uh, someone asked me about my camera, uh, I also recommend that you use this camera, I use telly, by the way, and I, like, zoom it out quite a bit, like, you can see, like, when the key, you can see from, like, 8 miles away when the keeper comes out and stuff, so it makes it a bit easier, but we go in at 1-0, um, and then, you know, but uh, you can see it, it takes me to the 82nd minute to score again, but I honestly, I had, like, I, I could break his defence so easily, it was just sort of like this goalkeeper and last minute tackles and like I just couldn't find that final ball just that like you know if you had a gold player there it would just either you know catch like play the perfect pass or you know get onto that loose ball but you know 2-0 two, two wins two games you can't really complain so I think yeah okay so here you guys will see how, how this series will go down so after two games I'll go into my trading and my auction search and you'll see here, I've got striker 4-3-2-1, which is what I'm going to play, gold and Barclays Premier League, and the coins I have. And I literally buy the first player I see, which in this case was Jibril Cisse. And I think that was Bobby more on the right, but I happen to get Jibril Cisse. And the reason I buy, uh, the reason I'm doing this is I want to literally find random gold players. I don't, I'm not trying to find the ones that everyone uses. I mean, I do think, I don't know how used Jibril Cisse is. But I do know he's a very good striker because I do I have used him before. So it's, this signing is probably not the best one to start with, but hopefully we will find some new ones uh, to add to this. So you see how I've changed the team, um, changed the formation for Cisse. And uh, the first game I come up against is like basically a cherry picker. What I, what I call a cherry picker. Um, he's got a, a team which is designed to to come against people like me, but people who've just started playing FIFA. Not not really people like me, but teams like mine. Um, and they have very low chemistry and just literally just beat them with pace, um, like that guy. 
Unfortunately for this guy, he, he do, I don't think he was expecting to play someone who's played as much FIFA as I have. Um, but I just couldn't, I couldn't get the final. Again, this is one of those frustrating games. But this time I couldn't, I couldn't even score. I mean, I, like you can see his defense is really not that good. But when I when I finally got a shot, you know, when you have, you guys all know Joe Hart, how good he is in this game. And I mean, the game ends nil nil. Um, there's nothing I could really do. I mean, I I I think I played better than him, but I couldn't get that goal I needed. And this pussy that he is decided he didn't want to go, even though he had a better team. But he had a better team and better chemistry. One of the draw, like a pussy. And I just ah, oh. he should be he should be forced. EA next in the next game. EA, if you're listening, you gotta force the better team to and better chemistry player. He has to play on. Like it should be me. I get that I should be able to choose because I had the worst team there, but. You know, I haven't lost yet. I've got to look on the bright side of life, as uh, that guy in that song said. But, you know, um, still haven't lost two wins in a draw. And uh, this game, oh, this game, uh, you will see Jibril Cissé. This is where, you didn't see a lot of him in the last game, but in this uh, this game, you basically make your decision, if you like Cissé or not. Um, and you see, so this guy literally, I think he just, just started the game with the players that he got. He didn't really change them around or anything like I did. Because he could, I reckon even there he could have got a bit extra chemistry. But you see a little dummy through and Cisse against the bronze keeper is not going to miss those. Big boy Gibral Cisse making it a 1-0. Um, that finesse finish like round the keeper. That one always works against bronze keepers. Like they, they hardly ever save that. I don't think I've ever come across. I don't even think I've ever come across a good bronze keeper. If you, if you know one then tell me. But. I've never ever come across one, and you see there, nice step overs, cut inside. This guy again, I think, oh, really, he was a bit inexperienced at FIFA. Nice Ronaldo chop, and I think that's Gibral Cesar's hat trick already in about what was that 45 minutes. Um, but yeah, so I'm just using a few like simple skills here, nothing amazing. But this finish, like this, symbolizes that. That is why bronze keepers are rubbish. Like that should never be going in from Cesar, but. You know, bronze keepers, they are pretty damn awful. And I think that's his fourth goal here. So, you know, you can see how good he is. I have used the, I've used the Lazio version and I've used the QPR version of him. They're both, there's, I don't think there's any difference in stats, but he is an absolute machine. You see another goal there. And this time, John Grant still, still providing those goals, even though he probably will be replaced sooner. Rather, actually, no, might keep John Grant for a bit. He seems like a bit of a legend at the moment. Uh, Jibril Cissé again, step overs and the smashes home, love those kind of finishes, and I do think that's the final goal of this game, and in fact the episode, so I think at the, by the end of this Jibril Cissé has scored 6 goals so far in 2 games, so uh, yeah, 6 goals, there we go, in 2 games, so it's up to you guys, you comment below whether you think Cissé has earned his place in the t Hidden Gems team, if you think if you think no, if I get loads of no's and I will sell him on. If I get loads of yeses, I will keep him. That's how it's going down. Please like the episode. Please favorite if you really enjoyed it. And other than that, peace.